Alrighty, what's up everybody? Peter fucking Joseph here for another video right here on the Peter fucking Joseph YouTube wrestling channel youtube.com slash Peter Joseph. Thank you all for watching on this Saturday evening getting close to Saturday night June the 15th 2024 the midpoint of the month I'm getting close to the midpoint of the year two weeks away from that and five days away from the official start of summer. So, thank you all for watching here on the channel. Make sure you like the video, hit that subscribe button down there in hell, otherwise known as the description box below, on this channel and my other channels as well. Show your love and support. Share the video all over the internet. Follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And don't forget to tap that bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next video because if you miss anything, you need a slap in the face and your SOL. And you know what that means. That's uh, pretty much it. And if you're new here, welcome to the party, pal. We hope you enjoy the ride. Sit back, relax. You grab yourself a cold one and enjoy the show. And if not, there's the door. Take your, take your stupid, disgusting-looking ass and get off my channel. Because you will be blocked. And if you don't like that, well, cry me a river, bitch. Go on somebody else's channel and do your bullshit. See what happens. No tolerance policy here on on my channels you don't like it too bad that's the way it is be respectful and if not go go to hell and go fuck yourself pretty much that's pretty much it all right ladies and gentlemen had a very eventful day today we had clash at the castle in scotland and uh well pretty much if you're a drew mcintyre fan you're ah! you know you're you you Looking for CM Punk right now because CM Punk basically screwed Drew McIntyre again. Again. I think it's like the third time in the last two months. Uh, so, so Poppy Priest, thanks to CM Punk, retained the World Heavyweight Championship. So we had the Glasgow... Uh, screw job, or as I call it, the Scottish screw job. So uh, not only did did Drew get screwed up, screwed by Punk at WrestleMania, he got screwed on Raw as well. Third time, you know, was not you know just too much. So Drew, he went off after the pay per view went off the air. He's yelling at Corey Graves, "What the fuck is going on?" Yelling at the referee. Who, who, uh, Got knocked off the apron, you know, the old rep bump, and then CM Punk comes out. No, Drew didn't know it at the time until one, two, fuck you. And Drew got all pissed, and then, you know, back, back Punk in the corner, and then Punk hit him right in the balls. And then, uh, you know, Priesty, Poppy Priest hits South of Heaven. Bing, bang, boom, good night. Retain the title. Take my title. And go to the media scrum and tell all, every, all the all the stupid idiot reporters out there, with, except for a certain few, uh, to all rise for the Judgment Day. And Poppy Priestley Campion. And that's it. Uh, so, pretty good pay-per-view. I'll review it later tonight. Uh, but there was one shock. And uh was the hometown girls, Isla, Isla Dawn or Isla Dawn and Alba Fire becoming the new... Women's Tag Team Champions beating Jade and Bianca and Shayna and Zoe after they're going up for a uh, top rope move and then out of the blue, uh, I think it was uh, out of fire knocked, I think it was uh, Bianca off the top rope or Shayna Baszler off the top rope, I forgot who it was, but Easter Dawn pinned Shayna Baszler to become the new champs. Might, I think there's going to be a rematch on SmackDown, so there might be another title change. Who knows at this point? And uh, that's that's pretty much it. So we got that, but I'll talk about that later. Uh, Cody versus AJ, great match, horrible finish, horrible. We had that. Uh, Bailey retained her title over uh, over the another hometown girl, Pipe and Nevin. Maybe a, 
And, uh, you know, a little nod by Piper. He'll face turn. Hmm? We'll see. We have that. Um, and, uh, well, Sami Zayn escaped Scotland with his stupid Intercontinental title. You know, after, uh, after, uh, after Gable clipped Maxine Jew by accident. Otis, like, fuck you, Chad Gable. Pretty much, and Gable just took his eye off the ball. And, uh, Sammy somehow retained the belt. It is what it is. But we'll talk about that later. Uh, we got Collision coming up in about, in a few minutes. So, we got that. So, but, right now, ladies and gentlemen, right now, uh, really quickly, I want, I want to get this, vi this video up. So, it is time for your late and really so far out of date AEW Dynamite Thoughts. You understand? So, just going to run down a little bit of Dynamite, what happened, and then get, get you ready for, uh, for Collision coming up in a little bit. Might do a little live look in, but we'll see what happens with that. All right. All right, so Collision uh, emanated from the Wells Fargo Center in Des Moines, Iowa. Hey, that's the hometown of Seth Rollins. But no, Seth Rollins was not there, though I don't know that, but who knows. All right, so we got that. As always, the man behind the mask, Excalibur, Tony Baloney Shivani, the legend that he is, and another legend in his own mind, that's Taz, who's a very happy Met fan. Was the best one today again? Five to one. They are four and zero oh since Grimace. Yes, Grimace. No, Grimace from McDonald's throughout the first pitch four days ago. The Mets are four and zero. Oh. Maybe should have Grimace at Shea Stadium all the time. Not Shea Stadium, sorry, City Field all the time. Mets are doing kicking ass right now. Barely won Friday night, but still. Bats woke up today. KD Martinez, not one but two. Two missiles. Pfft, gone. Goodbye. We got that. So the Mets win back-to-back -back series at home. They go. They basically. Uh, right now they're four and one in, on the uh, homestand. See what if they could sweep the Padres, which would be epic. But we'll see what happens with that. But they are five games under five hundred on the road to let, hit that five hundred mark. They get on even keel right before the All Star break. Be really nice. But is it all a tease? But we'll see. I mean, the Mets could stay around 500 at the All-Star break. They got a pretty decent chance to maybe get that third wild card. I don't think the second, but I think maybe the third and final playoff spot. I mean, it is what it is. We got the Yankees tonight on Fox. Nobody cares. Because they're playing the Red Sox. 50 wins. Yankees first seen the 50 wins. 10 Thousand wins in their history. Whoop the goddamn do. Pretty much, pretty much for the for for the lamest fucking baseball team in New York. I mean, it is what it is for the for the team full of steroid users. Ever since Babe Ruth. That's a fact. That's not. That's not just me just hating the Yankees because I hate the Yankees so much. But, pretty much a proof fact. Oh, pretty much after, you know, after DiMaggio and Mantle came around, you know, Reggie Jackson, you know, Reg pretty much since Reggie Jackson, steroid users. Pretty much. Pretty much. For the, the Yankee dynasty. <laughs> yeah, 50 wins. Prove it to me in October when you, if you win the, Win the win the uh, World Series. Then I'll talk. I was like, okay, okay, good season, great, great, good grass to you. Whoop de do. Twenty eight fucking cheating titles. Twenty seven, twenty eight, whatever it is now. I don't care. We got that. All right, let me uh switch to collision. That's all. Young Jedi. We turned to Jedi just ended, and it's the one year anniversary. Of collision tonight, uh, we're gonna hear from you know everybody's favorite person who hate, uh, who loves father. I mean, it's Father's Day. Everybody's favorite dad, Christian. He's got a Father's Day uh, speech tonight. 
Uh, also got Diana Perrazzo and Thunder Rosa in a no disqualification match. That's going to be brutal. Uh, we got the House of Black versus the Bang Bang Gang non title trios match. That should be fun. And uh, we shall see what happens with that as we, we move on. All right, so yeah, Collision is about to start right now on TNT. All right, well, let's get to, we'll talk about Collision tomorrow. And speaking of, Christian, Christian! Christian's here. Happy Father's Day to Christian! And all you fathers out there, how are our fathers doing this evening? Hopefully you're doing good. You know, day before your freaking day, what it is, what it is. <clears throat> That's it. All right, so let's talk about, uh, briefly, rundown Colli uh, Dynamite, I don't know what it is. Alright, so we started off with Swerve and my good buddy Prince Nana. Uh, now hyping up the, their uh, Swerve's title match with Will Ocean Spray at Forbidden Revolving Door. Uh, they, they, uh, he praises Ocean Spray's recent success as of late. Uh, says Osprey's been an assassin, but that won't be the case at Forbidden Door. Uh, he's basically going to pull the trigger, meaning kill switch. Alright, so Christian's like, just types up his, uh, Father's Day speech. We had that. Alright. Alright, so, one year of collision has started, and we start off with the Blackpool Cuck Club in full force. Eight-man tag team match. So we got the IWGP heavyweight champion, John Moxley. Uh, we got Swiss, the Swiss Superman Claudio Casignoli. Brian Danielson crying Brian Danielson. And just still your Ring of Honor pure champion, the man who uh, pretty much sucks a lot of dick, and that's Wheeler Utah. William U not Wheeler anymore, it's William Utah. So they're gonna be in a eight man tag team match. Against uh, I think like the CMLO stars. I don't know who's who's there, who they're fighting. I mean, really, who cares about William Yuta? Anyway, I'll be I'll be right back. I have to take a second to use bathroom. Right back. Alright, it's also long, I didn't have to really go. I just had a, had a text from the missus, so... I had to go in the bedroom to see what she wanted. Be weird as always! I had to turn off, the, I had to put on the uh, AC for her. Really. It's fucking hot! In here. Oh, they're taking on, that's right, they're taking on uh, the new... Uh, IWGP... And New Japan's strong tag team champions, TMDK, making their AEW debut. And uh, by the way, if you don't know who TMDK are, there are two members, you know, Shane Thorne and um, another guy. Uh, the team up with Rocky Romero, let's say. And uh, Leo, Le 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 Leon Leo Rush. So, I got that. So, TMDK, Rocky Romero Essay, and Leo Rush taking on the Blackpool Cook Club. An eight-man tag team action to open up the one-year anniversary of Collision. So, good to see TMDK. You know, after winning at Dominion against, uh, I forgot who they, they beat, but they became the, uh, the Unified... Because it's unified now, tag team champions of New Japan and of New, J well, New Japan Strong and the IWGP tag team heavyweight champions. So we got all that. So you know, you know, yeah. Uh, 
What would it even NXT? I forgot. I think it was TM50, something like that? I forget. But you know who they are. That's what TMDK is right now. You know, Zack Sabre Jr. is a former... Well, I think he's still with, the, with them now. But, you know, it's it's forbidden door time. So, you know, all the people from Japan are going to be, uh, you know, around. We saw Shota Amino last night on Rampage. We saw, we saw Shingo, you know, one-third of the new trios champions in Japan. So, once again, uh, the Fox, uh, uh, Los Ingenabones de Japón back as champions, except for uh, Naito. Naito's looking to become the, uh, I think, a three-time, three-time, three-time IWGP heavyweight champion of the world. By taking on Moxley. Must be some good shit. So you got good shit. Leo Rush and Brian Cryan Danielson in the ring. Put on a clinic right now. Who knew that? Whenever you ever see that. But Alright, so we got that. We're gonna hear from the acclaimed Max Caster, Anthony Bones, and Daddy Ass. Daddy Ass Billy Gunn. Uh, probably, you know, about about the Bucks situation, you know, the Elite. You know, so we'll, we'll um, talk about that. Also, we got uh, Rod Roddy on commentary for uh, Kyle O'Reilly, o o o Auto Parts, and say his name, and he appears. No, it's not Joe Henry, it's Anthony Henry. Even though it doesn't sound great, but we, doesn't sound as great as say his name, and he appears. I believe in Joe Hendry. Yeah. Also, we got Hichesaro of CMLL taking on Peacock. Mr. Dalton Castle, the House of Black, taking on the Bang Bang Gang. And Trio's action. Uh, no Switchblade Jay White, but he was Switchblade. So we got that. So it's Juice Robinson and the Ass Boys. Sounds like a, sounds like, you know, Remember when uh, Dan Housen used to say, Billy Gunn and the Ass Boys! Mm -mm. Now we can say, Juice Robinson and the Assholes! Pretty much. Pretty much the same thing, but it is what it is. Alright. Alright, so, uh, we got that. So Swerve's saying, I'm gonna say, uh, uh, where, where, where's my notes here? Okay, here we go. Alright, so uh, he praises Swerve for, he praises Os Ocean Spray for his success, but that's not going to be the case if he's been in door. He, he calls himself Kill Shot because if you don't pull the trigger, I will. Nice little Lucha, Lucha Underground reference. I miss Lucha Underground. I do. Uh, calls uh, uh, Ocean Spray a fighting champion, unlike the Bucks. Oh, you said the magic word, and they come out. You know, the corporate bucks. Matthew and Nicholas Jackson, the the tag team champions of AEW. Also, oh, Kata, the AEW Continental Breakfast Champion. Along with the scapegoat, Jack. I went from real glass, I got set on fire for the greater good, Perry. Alright, so they all come out. And the Bucks, you know, talk their shit like they always do. And, uh, basically say, we've cleared the ro half the roster. That's why the ratings have gone down. Way down. And, um, they want to face the best of AEW at the 4th Annual Blood and Guts event. July the 24th. Great day, that is. Um, for many reasons. Um, in Nashville, Tennessee. Yep. Yeah. So they want to face five of the best from AEW, uh, and then they they get in the ring. They try to get Swerve to get on their team. They give them the Bucks give them the uh, Swerve their new shoes, and then Prince Don's like, "Fuck your shoes!" Throws them into the crowd. Lucky guy to have one or both pairs. So, we got that, and then a big, humongous brawl happens. We basically got five on, uh, you know, four on one beat down. Uh, then the Acclaim come out to kind of even the odds. I'm like, yep, eight-man tag coming up, probably next week on Dynamite. 
Because, you know, if this is what I think might be at Blood and Guts, that is the most horrible AEW, Team AEW team ever. Like, why would you put Swerve, team, team him up with the ass, with, with uh, Daddy Ass and the Acclaimed in, in, a, in that type of match? Why? Mm-mm. But anyway, so they fight, go into the crowd. Uh, like I said, the Acclaim and Billy Gunn come out for the save. And then uh, Christopher Daniels comes out and says, uh, well, we're going to have a match right now between Jack Perry and Dustin Rhodes in a TNT uh, title qualifying match. And every, all your all your other pieces of crap, get out of here. So that's pretty much it. All right, so uh, so we get that. So, uh, blood and guts. Uh, the elite versus Team AEW, which is right now headed by Swerve, and maybe the acclaimed and a mystery partner, whoever that might be. But then again, who's the fifth part, fifth guy on the elite? Uh, I'm been sorry, I got a cold. Anyway, so. So, we'll see who uh, the the Bucks get. Because, basically, it's them, Okada, well, him in that match. Ooh, I don't know about that. And Jack Perry was going to bleed like a fucking faucet. So, we'll see what happens with that. And probably on the other side, I could probably see Swerve, MJF. Uh, don't know. And maybe, maybe you put the Acclaimed in there, too. I, I wouldn't do that. I mean, it, it feels like, you know, a slaughter, basically. You got, you got two guys and three other schmucks. I mean, Swerve and MJF, yeah. On the same team? Okay. Maybe put Ocean Spray in there. And then get two other guys. You don't need the acclaim. Get them out of there. Hey, maybe put Sammy... Sammy... Sammy Confield in Spanish. God. I haven't said his name in a while. But, you know, maybe get him to come back. And then maybe just get thrown off the fucking top of the... Top of the cage like he did um like two years ago. But well, I mean we'll just have to see what happens with that. All right, so yeah, so Blood and Guts is announced July twenty fourth on Dynamite from Nashville, Tennessee. Yep, and that's it. All right, all right. After that, we go right to the TNT qualifying match. We have the natural Dustin Rhodes taking on the scapegoat Jack Perry in street clothes. Uh, pretty good match. Dustin Rhodes got busted wide open. So we got blood motherfuckers. Yes. Uh, kind of went back and forth. Uh, Jack Perry sends Dustin into the exposed turnbuckle. Because the pad was ripped off somehow earlier in the match. Uh, Dustin then gets dropped on the exposed concrete uh, with a DDT. That's how he beat the, beat the ten count. Uh, and then Jack Perry just you know just finishes him off with a, with a low blow. I think be, uh, unbeknownst to the referee. And then Dustin's like, "Fuck you!" So pff, Jack Perry's like, "Oh fuck me! Fuck you!" Here's a feet trigger. Pff, good night. Ten minute match. So Jack Perry becomes the next participant in the in the TNT title ladder match for the vacant TNT title. He joins up with the Keshta. That should be fun. And um forget who else is in that match. So we got three people, but I forgot I only know two of them. So we'll see what happens with uh with that. And we move on. Uh Alright, then we see uh, Kyle O'Reilly and Will Nightingale saving Freshly Squeeze Orange Juice. Orange Cassidy on Collision last week. Then we uh, we go to Freshly Squeeze Orange Juice, uh, Mr. Orange Cassidy. He's happy to have Kyle, Willow, and then Mark Briscoe, the funky chicken himself, the Ring of Honor World Champion, reach for the sky boy, Jay Briscoe. So we got all that. Uh, Mark goes completely berserk. Calls, uh, he's like, You know, daddy, this conglomeration, daddy. You know, and um, goes into a humongous rant about how they're going to hurt the Don Cowes family. And he's like, oh, no, no. He's just going berserk. And Kyle's like, 
My God, man! That was some that was some epic stuff from Mark, and you know how Mark Briscoe is just wa warped out of his fucking mind. But he's your champion of Ring of Honor. You have to respect that and respect you, you great man up there. You reach for the sky, boy, Jay Briscoe. Name boys. All right, so we got we got all that. So Mark just like turned up the insanity button. To like, uh, like nine thousand. Made the promo really good. It was funny and it was good at the same time. Man, this match sucks. Gilmore Casa by Moxley doesn't do it as great as me. But still, eh, but still, we uh get all that. Alright, so we move on with that. So we got a uh, six-man tag team match coming up later. And we move on. Alright, then we go to your uh, 92nd squash match of the night. Time to take a break. We have Bush taking on Dion Russman. Beats him in 90 seconds with the bull's horns. That's it. Bing, bang, boom. Good night. Uh, don't care. Didn't care for the match. Uh, then after the match, Bush grabs the mic. Calls Russman a typical weak American. Dude. Uh, and then MJF comes out. We got a humongous brawl, which goes into the backstage area. Christopher Daniels and security. Even Glacier. Remember Glacier? Some of you do, some of you don't. Glacier has to break it all up. With agents and shit. That's that. Neon Rush came out of nowhere with a big time frog splash on Moxley. Almost beat him. And he's going up again. I don't know what he's doing, doing this time. He looked like he was trying for the same move he hit before. The, that that weird, weird frog splash. And Moxley stopped it. Kicked him in the gut. Goes for a paradigm shift. Leo Rush moves out of the way. And then Team DK, I think they hit their finisher from New Japan. I don't know what to call that. And now they're looking like the, the finish off Danielson. But Danielson knocks him into each other, Buzanko knee, onto um, Ace, I don't know who that is, Wheeler Yuta comes in, uh, Angle Slam, Rocky Romero comes in, uh, Slice Bread, Claudio comes in, we're going, we're going swinging, and that's it, I don't know if we're going to get a KRS-1, doesn't look like it. <laughs> he was slowing down. I was like, "Ah, oh, the fuck you!" Yeah, Claudio's amazing. We get that. This match is crazy as shit, and it's that Leo Rush trying to jump on uh, Claudio's back. Claudio picks him up. What is he doing here? What is he doing? He just picked him up. I thought that Moxie was gonna have to drop him with a cutter. That's what I would have done. Like Claudio just throws him up in the air. Right into the waiting arms of Moxley, who has the Death Rider. One, two, three, so the Blackpool Cuck Club get the win. That's it. We move on. So, good match. Good match. Pretty good ending. You know, good stuff. Good stuff. Mark, man, now Mark's like, ah! I, I want ya! I think he was yelling at Shane Dorn. I don't know who he was yelling at. <laughs> who cares? Who gives a flying fuck? Uh, at least William Yuta didn't get the pin this time. Because William Yuta's the type of person that gets the pin and nobody is there to see it. Oh, now Moxie's going to talk about Naito. Oh, boy. There we go. All right, so we got that. All right, so um, Roosh, Roosh and MJF fight in the back. Daniels and Glacier have to break it up with a bunch of agents and security. And we move on. Alright, then we see Samoa Joe and the man, Hook. Samoa Joe and Hook, or Joe Hook, uh, basically beating the fuck out of the premier athletes on Collision last week. So we got that. 
All right, then we go to that six-man tag team match. Mark Briscoe, Orange Cassidy, and Kyle o -O O'Reilly taking on Daddy! Uh, Kyle Fletcher, the Ring of Honor TV champ. And Takeshita, so two-thirds of the uh, Don Cows family, teaming up with Roddy. You had I'm Matt Taven and Mr. Mike Bennett, the Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions, out with him. So a lot of <laughs> shit at ringside. Uh, pretty good match. Uh, but in the end, uh, we got a cheap shot, drops Mark, and then Kyle Fletcher hits the pound driver. One, two, three, 13 minute match. So the Don Callis family and Roddy get the win. Pretty good match. And uh, that's it. Basically, Mon Monsley just went off on Naito, saying, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna bury your career once and for all. I'm gonna put you in a box." Damn. Yeah, Monsley's probably gonna retain over Naito. As much as Naito, I love, I, I, <laughs> I want Naito to win so bad, but I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. All right, we move on. Ah. Uh, where am I here? Where am I? Okay. Alright, so after the match, uh, we're going to beat down on the faces. Willow Nightingale tries to make the save, but Chris Statlander cuts that off. And then uh, Stokely Hathaway prompt, uh, threatens more violence. And we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll get that. Alright, then we have Bray Phoenix getting ready for his uh, main event match with Ocean Spray. Uh, for the, uh, teen for the, uh, bleh, the Intercontinental title. We've got that. Then, like I said, Shingo Takagi, one third of the of the uh, the uh, New Japan Trios champions, is um he made it known that he's going to be in the Owen Hart Cup. I like that. I think Shota Amino is in it too. That's a plus too. So Shingo the Dragon, oh not Brian Danielson, but Shingo will be in the Owen Hart Cup. He's going to win. No. <laughs> But we'll see what happens with that. Alright, then we see, hear from Christopher Daniels saying that Tony God, man, is putting the Elite in, in Eliminator matches next week for their titles. And everybody else is banned from the ring during those matches. So the Elite will face off, I think against the acclaim of, of uh, Max Caster and Anthony Bowens. So we got that. And I think the winners go to... Go to... Uh, Forbidden Door for the titles, I think. I don't know, but let me move on with that. And then um, Okada's going to be defending the Continental Breakfast... Uh, well, it's got an Eliminator match, not, so not for the title. Uh, Okada's going to be in the ring to uh, face off against whoever might get go for his uh, Continental Breakfast Championship. So we got, we got pretty much all that, and we move on. All right, speaking of the acclaim, we have Tony Baloney in the ring, and it's time to sesame, mommy ass! We got that. So, Daddy Ass and the Acclaim come out. And we're going to hear from the, from the, those crazy bastards. God forbid, they're going to they're gonna scissor with Tony Pomoni. Oy, oy, oy. Or not. <laughs> Get out of here, Tony Baloney. And me well. Alright, so we got that. Uh, then we go to Hook and Samoa Joe. They beat the shit out of Ari Davari and Tony Nice in two and a half minutes. Didn't give two fucks. That. Alright, then we hear from Stephanie Vakura, the New Japan Strong Women's Champion, ready to face one of the best in her arch nemesis, Mercedes Monet, for her TBS title. And speaking of Mercedes Monet, she's defending the belt against Stephanie Vakura's uh, partner in um, stardom and CMLO, I believe, too. Uh, that's Zusix. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's Zusix, I guess. Really took Mercedes to the limit, but in the end, Mercedes hits, uh, hits the money maker in 10 minutes, gets the win, and that's pretty much it. So Mercedes, uh, I think there's a contract signing next week with them, with her and, and Stephanie Vakur. That should be fun. And we'll see what happens with, with that. And that's it. All right, after that, we get... My favorite part of the night, a video on my girl Mina Shirakawa and her friendship slash 
relationship with another one of my hotties, Mariah May. So we see that. So great to see a video about who the hell but right mean I'm sure coward is. If you don't know, now you know. Uh, so we get that. And then we see Mariah May cuddled up to Tony Storm's titty. Oh, I wish I was her. Should have been me. Um, basically, they promised to run next week's contract signing. There was another contract signing. Uh, between Tony Storm and Mina Shirakawa. Though, Tony Storm's like, I'm not worried, love. Chin up. Tits out. Watch for the shoe. That's uh, pretty much it. We get that. So that's going to be fun next week. Three hotties in that ring. And we move on. All right, after that, we get the, uh, it's TV time with, uh, Chris Jericho, baby. Uh, so big cast. Uh, introduces Jericho, who comes out with, you know, Brian Keith's in the ring as well. Uh, private party come out, and basically, you know, they basically roast freaking Jericho. Uh, Jericho's like, I learned from Stu Hart, and explains how to go up top like Owen Hart. Why did you say that, dude? Why did you say that? About Owen Hart? Go up top. Yeah, go up top. Jericho, you are a fucking idiot for saying that, man. How dare you say that about a legend who should be in the fucking Hall of Fame? Owen fucking Hart. Going up top. When was the last time you've been on top? And I'm not talking about your wife either. You're, you're, you're a fucking idiot for saying that. Stu Hart, yeah, you learn from Stu Hart in the dungeon. But then you say, oh, this is, this is how you go up top like Owen Hart. And then Private Party's like, ah, dump him off the top rope. Dumbass. That was stupid. And we got that. What the, what the fuck is Brandon Cutler doing here again? I don't know. This resident fucking stooge. Now they claim, like, talking shit about, about the elite. So I guess he's back with the elite now. Yeah, now Brandon's sucking up, saying, uh, the Bucks have, uh, Basically put this company on the back since day one. Blah, 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 blah. And then, uh... Basically, uh, Brandon says that the acclaim are going to be fined 10000 almost $15,000 for, you know, messing with the box and saying what they had to say. Some disparaging remarks. And then, uh, Christopher Daniels comes out. This basically, basically brings out good news and basically reverse the fines. And basically tells Brandon, that's enough from you. Get the fuck out of here. And then Brandon's like yelling at Christopher Daniels, like, ready to fine print. And then Daniels just knocks the living shit out of Brandon Cutler. And now they're about to hit, uh, about to hit uh, Scissor Me Timbers on Brandon Good. Beat that fucking stooge up. Scissor me timbers. So, well, the EVPs are not going to be happy with that. Meaning the Bucks. And the rest of the Elite Okada and Jack Perry ain't going to be happy about that. Yeah, so let's just hyping up Wednesday night where uh, the Bucks are going to be... Uh, in a uh, tag team championship eliminator match against Max Caster and Anthony Bowens. Are they going to win? Huh? Who knows? I doubt it. I doubt it, but... Eh, we'll see what happens with that. So, half hour into uh, Collision has kind of been chaotic. But, we'll see what happens with, with that. <clears throat> and we move on. Alright, so the whole Jericho thing, fuck you. And, uh, pretty much Private Party just, uh, you know, outsmarted him, basically. They beat him up, and then they kind of get out of dodge before, you know, Brian Keith and Big Cass can do any anything about it. 
And that's that. Alright, then we get a video for Moxley versus Naito. A forbidden door for the IWGP title. We get that. Uh, then we have the Bang Bang Gang minus uh, Switchblade J. White. Wait, what's Switchblade? We saw the cardboard cutout of uh, Switchblade and freaking J Juice Robinson like, Psh, get out of here. Smacking it around. Basically, they're not impressed by the House of Black, so they make a challenge for collision, non-title match. Eh, what are you going to do? We're, we're going to see that uh, tonight. I'm going to that. All right, then we got a 72nd suck fest. The Dancing Fool. Oh, Dancing, Dancing Fool. The, we got Daniel Garcia taking on Captain Dave Man. Nick Camarado came out with his son, Jacoby Watts. <laughs> um, basically, Kyle whipped his ass. Um, MJF's watching in the back. I think, uh, who else was watching? I think it was Okada was watching too, or Rooch was, somebody else was watching, I forget. Uh, basically, Garcia won, grabbed the guillotine, hit the red cross. 70 seconds, seconds later, you're out. Good night. Don't care. And, um, we move on. Alright, then we get a video from a pissed off bastard, Pac, who says that he is going to enter the Owen Hart Cup. Got that. Alright, then we go to your main event of Dynamite for the Inter Intercontinental title. Will Ocean Spray and Ray Phoenix kind of dialing up 2016 Boulder PWG. But as much as that match was freaking epic eight years ago, this match was good, but not as great as that match. But still, back and forth they went. Uh, Ocean Spray retains the belt after uh, Phoenix goes for a flip, is forearmed at a mid-air, and then Ocean Spray stares at Swerve, who is watching in the crowd. He's like, watch this! And then he hits the Swerve Stop, which really pissed Swerve off. Then he hits the Hidden Blade 1, 2, 3, 15-minute match, retains the title, and that's it. And then Swerve gets in the ring, and then you have a stare down. And uh, Swerve accuses Ocean Spray of thinking this is still a game. It says, you're not strong enough to hold this company on your back, or on your shoulders, your back. So, uh, Osprey then just like, give me that title! And he puts it on his shoulders like, hmm, this looks good. So Swerve's like, give me that belt, give me my belt back, motherfucker! And then he, like, whispers in Ocean Spray's ear, he's like, you're lucky we're still friends, because if you weren't my friend, I would kill you right now. Yikes! So we get all that. We got all that and a bag of chips, my friends. And that ends a pretty meh dynamite. So I give dynamite 6.5 out of 10 stars. Uh, did really under 700,000 views this week. Not a great not a great number. So NXT did like 715, 716,000 views. Oof. It's getting uh, pathetic right now for... Uh, for AEW right now. And we got that. Alright, so this is, uh, I believe, match number three. Diana Perrazzo taking on Thunder Rosa in a no disqualification match. This is going to be brutal. And uh, that's pretty much it. Alright, guys, I'm going to go for now. So I'm going to watch the end of Collision. And then uh, I'll be back later with video number two. Maybe three, but it's two. Because uh, I did, I put up a reaction video to uh, Punk screwing Drew McIntyre. So check that out on this channel, the last video I did. So get those views up. We'll see what happens with that. And uh, that's it. So that is my Dynamite review. And Dynamite, I, like I said, I gave 6.5 out of 10 stars. So let me know what your, your thoughts are down below in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, my other channels as well. Show your love and support. Follow me on social media. I'll be live tweeting with Collision, as always. And, uh, all that other good stuff. So, we got TNA, Ring of Honor coming away after after Collision. And then, right before I go to bed, I will do my uh, brief uh, Clash at the Castle review back over on this channel. So, so get two videos on this channel and one on my main channel tonight. And then tomorrow, back on the Killer Demons channel with your... Uh, collision review for their one-year anniversary show. And that's pretty much it. 
for that. And we'll celebrate Father's Day and then have a good time. And that's it. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. And until next time, if you're not down with that, well, that's too bad. Because I got three words for you. Fuck you, man. And that's it. Have a great rest of your Saturday evening, Saturday night. And until next time, peace.